Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews, and this is the Narcissistic Resistance. And this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous. And here's his story. Hey, Ollie, call me Anonymous. Happy birthday for, for the other day. I sent a few dollars via PayPal. Hope it helps out. In regards to self-centered behavior in 2020, <clears throat> It has exposed to me some of the most selfish behaviors of individuals. Some examples. A grandmother that insists on quarterly visits, demands Christmas and birthday gifts, and yet doesn't send me a text message or anything on mine. A sister that was in college and stated when she was 18, I don't want to work a day in my life. I'll just get married. I, you know, I, I don't necessarily have have that much of a problem with that that a because i think most women and that's if you're a woman who likes her career like obviously this doesn't pertain to you most women don't want to go to work okay and would rather get married i'd rather her be honest than to trying to squeeze in some corporation making everybody miserable start suing people and, and that so i i'd rather that because personally, I think women are better suited in the house than in the business world anyway. That does that make me a misogynist? You can call me one. Okay, that's fine. But I think you talk to a lot of women, they'll tell you that. So I don't necessarily think the I want to get married thing is necessarily a bad thing. At least she's being honest. And if she's in college... So, you know, a lot of women went to college looking for a husband and then they would leave or they graduate or, and, and, but, you know, they'd work until they got married and then they'd go raise a family, yada, yada. I think women are a lot better suited for that. And if you have a girl at 18 says that's what she wants to do, I, I don't necessarily think that's a, that's a terrible thing. After sleeping around with half the town, now she's 30 plus and is setting up a sucker in the IT field for a life of being her wage slave. So what happened? At 18, she wanted to get married and then she screwed around into her 30s? I tried to warn the guy about her behavior, but he just told me I must be jealous. You can't help. You just can't help these people. Another fantastic example is boomer parents is boomer parents that have literally nothing to talk about because I realize they only talk about their neighbors and the one and a half to two yearly one and a half to two yearly overseas trips they take, which they currently can't because of the flu. Well, the flu is going to kill everybody and the dinosaurs are going to come back. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that on this channel because we know eventually we're all going to die from this disease that you have a 99.8% chance of survival, but we're all going to die from it. <clears throat> then in general society, there's more of this self-centered behavior. Take, for example, the fake plane that Instagram fake celebrities fake yeah fake celebrities were pretending they were in they're using to pretend they were in a private plane. I've been in a private flight and it's just a flipping plane. Why show that off? Can you imagine how hollow these people's lives must be constantly acting like that? If there's one silver lining to all of twenty twenty, it's the exposure of these people who live dishonestly. Take care, anonymous. Yeah. I mean, they're all exposed, but the real question is, are there enough people that care? Are there enough people who care about it? Okay. And again, worrying about your sister's behavior and who she's sleeping. And, and again, I'm not sure if you're a man or a woman. I, I, assume, I, I thought by the profile you might have been. A man, but you could be. I, I'm, I, I'm unsure. Okay. But you, you know, your your sister is, is what society made her. Okay. Facebook, Instagram, shallow, 
false status symbols, fake, yeah, and I understand what you're saying, these fake celebrities, faking that they're on a private jet. And again, private planes are, yeah, they're just like anything else. Big freaking deal. But this is how shallow and empty their lives really are. This is why I'm, I'm telling you, these people, if you were to stand up to them, there's nothing behind them. They're paper. It's a paper society. It's weak. And with the, with the modicum of, of observation and heat, they burn up, they fall apart, they scatter. That's what we're dealing with. Okay, but understand something. Your sister is nothing more than a, than, than than one of those those meaningless pieces of paper that's going to scatter, tear, and burn up under the slightest amount of scrutiny. So why burn? So why bother? Why bother with her? She's not who you need to be standing up to. You ignore her. Treat this society as what they as the trash they are what do you do with trash when you see it you stay away from it you pick it up you throw it in the garbage and you be done with it that's where this society is they're showing you their trash treat them as such what do you do with trash you ignore it you sweep it away you bag it up you throw it away for somebody else to take to a dump so it can be with the rest of the trash. That's how you handle it. Otherwise, you get a society full of it, blowing around everywhere. It's not hard. It's not hard to get, to, to, to get rid of these people. You ignore it. You isolate it. You throw it away. You, run, you worry about the society that's dumping it and causing it in the first place to be very honest and like i said the fact that your sister started out at 18 that she wanted to that she didn't want to work and just get married that's the way she should have been but unfortunately for her here society was didn't want that society doesn't want that now i don't know if she's had any jobs in, i don't know how she could get by into her 30s without any job what it seems like she did is rode the cock carousel into her 30s and now she's trying to bag something secure society set that up and again what's to be jealous of jealous that they got away with it but what did they get away with they got away with a trash, empty, garbage life that you know at the end of the day. They know they're trash. Trash knows they're trash. And that's all you need to do. Not even by pointing it out. Just by treating them as the trash they are. Simple. So, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your contribution and story, Anonymous. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like me to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all of this goes away as this channel is completely demonetized by Google and YouTube. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel here and my channels on Rumble. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been the Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.